when we talked to passionate foodies, we realized that they were, um, they, we figured out that there was no existing solution to them to easily post and share their recipes and connect you know, with their friends, followers, uh, with their fans. So we tried to redesign the format of the recipe and change totally the, the user experience so that you no longer have to fill in a form to post a recipe, but just by dragging and dropping images of ingredients, you create combination com combination of uh, ingredients, and then it generates a player that can be shared across the web, such as a video. So we we started from the very beginning, like trying to follow the, the methodology of the uh, user discovery. We've been working with uh, culinary schools, students of <coughs> culinary schools from the from, from the very first day because at first we didn't know them, so it was interesting to get their real feedback. Uh, so they are very demanding because uh, um, they are the chefs of tomorrow and uh, they can express um, their, their, what, they, what they really want, what is their dream product, uh, without t taking care of making uh, ourselves uh, happy. So um, uh, maybe we, we had a question, we, we had a question for, for you about, uh, about the, 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 the company growing. And um, because we recently launched the product, we entered into the customer validation phase. And uh, we see the, the, the community growing. And uh, Antoine is going to ask you a question about that. Yeah, what Theo said is very important. From the day one, we knew uh, every user and every, uh, every people on our platform. But from now on, uh, we can't meet uh, every single user we have because uh, it's, it would take all our time. So. Uh, our question would be how do you switch from uh, the MVP stage where you know uh, almost every users, every customers from uh, a launch uh, products where you, you have to keep on uh, digesting all the feedbacks of your users but you can't meet all of them so does it, does it have to be only data mining or uh, using analytics tools or anything? Well, I mean the beauty of having a web or smartphone delivered product is you can observe the behavior of every one of your users and in your case I would say some of the key things to look at are who uses you once and never comes back or who loads a recipe but doesn't share the recipe or who shares the recipe but nobody they share with uses it and try to identify the most troublesome or most encouraging behaviors and then reach out to those people directly. You Since you probably don't have their phone numbers, you have their email addresses. So what can you offer them? I, I'd like to talk to you for 15 minutes about your experience with our site. I am not selling you anything. In fact, I will give you a Starbucks gift card or an Amazon gift card if you talk to me for 15 minutes. Whether you do, you know, in this case, you it may be too difficult to do it in person. Um, another, but one way, interesting way to do it in person would be to go to a food festival or a restaurant fair and have several sort of setups where customers can actually experience it real time see what their behavior is, talk to them for a few minutes after they've played with it. But I, my fear with this is you have a much bigger problem um, in turning this into a scalable business. Um, uh, right? I teach at Columbia University two semesters a year, 50 students, roughly 15 startups every semester in, you know, in teams of three, or three to five students. Every semester, there are two recipe applications of some sort or another. And so I got really angry the last time this happened, which was uh, the end of June. And I went online and I said, how many recipe apps are available at the App Store? And not only was the answer 850, which is frightening enough, but then I asked, how many were there six months ago? And the, it was, the number of apps was increasing by 75 every six months. 
Then you get to the other very frightening fact that 92% of all apps sold and downloaded are free. So I get nervous about, A, how do you make this stand out in an ocean of not similar apps because they're helping you share or enjoy recipes. And I would encourage you to put most of your energy into answering that question because you don't want to be number 851. You want to stand out and have a bright star in the crowd. And I think there is no more urgent challenge for you, you know, at this point. And, and I think that's why sort of finding clusters of customer behavior, thinking of which, I mean, I, I would say I would start with, who are the most enthusiastic users? What are their characteristics? What is it they like? Why do they keep coming back? So, you know, your <coughs> user data will tell you exactly who they are, and to the extent they'll let you ring their doorbell, walk in with some pastries or wine, and talk to them for an hour, I think even though it's a pain in the ass to do, the learning could be the difference between success and boredom.